Kelly Leavesley is the Regional Wildlife Manager for Manitoba Conservation. In her research, she's using state-of-the-art technology to track caribou in order to understand their habitat. Kelly chairs the Woodland Caribou Management Committee. Woodland caribou have a low reproductive rate and a very narrow ecological tolerance. So they require special attention when planning and implementing resource developments. Since the early 1980s, the focus of our management and research has been to understand the habitat and range requirements for woodland caribou. Woodland caribou typically use different areas throughout the year. So we need to understand how they use these areas, why they are important, and how these areas change over time. We want to know what habitat types are important for food and cover. So we need to identify where their wintering areas are, where the cratering sites are located, the areas where they dig for food through the snow, and where their loafing sites are located, the rest areas where they regain their strength. We also need to identify where the calving and calf rearing areas are, where the important rutting areas and migration corridors are, and how they use their habitat to escape predators like wolves and bears. As we gather more information about their habitat needs, we get a better picture of what we should and should not do in woodland caribou habitat. The research has provided us with a great deal of information about woodland caribou. For example, we've learned that lichens are a very important food for woodland caribou in winter, but in summer they also eat leaves, shrubs, herbs, mushrooms, and grasses. Summer and winter ranges do not usually overlap. Some herds use traditional migration routes, but others do not. Summer habitat includes open areas and ridges to get away from biting insects. Caribou have a loyalty or fidelity to a particular area for their winter range as well as for their calving areas. They prefer mature coniferous forest habitat for cover and food. Cows disperse by themselves to give birth and they return to the same calving sites, often an island or an island of trees in a large bog. Calf rearing areas are usually near water, on islands or along shorelines, providing cows and calves an escape from wolves and bears. Woodland caribou are moving all the time, and they use their landscape more than other animals do to avoid predators. When wolves threaten, they disperse widely through the forest, making it harder to find them, or into the water if it is close. 